I am your host, Leah Demla, and you are listening to the Oracle on Purpose podcast, where we help intentional leaders clarify their purpose and next steps to create a work and life of significance. Want to know a secret? Business is a dream killer. That's right. If you are one of those people that has been pushing really hard at the tasks of running your business, then you're probably not fulfilling your purpose or creating that dream life you really want. That's why busyness, right? Being busy in your business is an actual dream crusher. I'm Leah Dunlap, the Oracle on Purpose, and I help women leaders to push through their upper limits so that their expanded vision becomes their reality. One of the ways we do that is by avoiding busyness. And I can see this oftentimes with clients when they have come from an environment, especially a corporate background, where your activity, your productivity is based on how many boxes you check off, right? How many things you get done by the end of the day, how many emails you answer, how many reports you send, how many meetings you have, all of that becomes the focus for success in business. And yet when we move into the entrepreneurial arena, which most of my clients fall under, there's this old pattern, right? An old belief that a full schedule is success. Having your hours booked from moment to moment through the whole day, that's success. And I often have to take my clients back through the process of coming back to the core of why they started their business or their venture in the first place. First of all, typically it's to avoid that very thing of rushing and rushing and always running to check things off a list. Also, there is this kind of knee-jerk reaction for women in particular, I'm just going to be honest, the most women that I work with, that if you aren't busy, you're not being worth it. If you're not busy, you're not valuable. If you're not busy, you're not valuable. I would say that comes from the culture, especially here. Um, I'm in the United States growing up of the ideal woman being this, this superwoman, frankly, that can do all the things all the time, right? Maybe even, even though it feels like now in this kind of quote unquote modern, modern time, we've stepped away from it a bit, there is still kind of like this archetypical uh, superwoman who once she joined into the work field somehow still had to be responsible for all of the other things that happen in a life, in, in a family, in her world. And the idea that that gave her value, that, that ability, like on that scale of how many things she was Juggling somehow gave her power, her value, her worth. And one of the things we dismantle when I work with my clients is the idea that your worthiness is attached to doing the things you do, right? The the boxes you check at the end of the day, which is why when we fall into a trap of being busy, you know, B-U-S-Y, dash ness you know we fall in the trap of busyness in our business we are feeding that symptomatic problem of thinking that our only value is what we create in a moment what we get off our plate what we get off the list instead of understanding that we as individuals unique individuals are indeed priceless What we have brought to the table of life is ours and uniquely ours. And often you'll hear me talk about this. The unique life purpose that you're born to deliver is yours for a reason. Only you, just like you are, can deliver it the way that the universe intended when it created you. 
Oh, remember this number, 400 quadrillion. 400 quadrillion, that is a massive number. And that, that's the odds of you, the exact you that's listening to me right now, hi, um, that that's you being born just the way you are, you know, with all of your individual nuances. I quote that number often because I don't think many people take the time to recognize how immensely honored they should be <laughs> to be here. Like whatever your experience of life is right now, bless it. Honestly, the chances of you being here are so astronomical that most people don't even use that number, by the way. They use a much smaller number. You know, one in a million. No, one in 400 quadrillion, quadrillion with a Q, right? Look it up. That's a lot of zeros. That's you. What kind of invitation must have come through the cosmic universe to say, you know what? We want you just the way you are. Curly hair, silly smile, dimples, no dimples, freckles, whatever it is, that inclination to dream or aspire or grow or create. All of those pieces of who you are, that's what you're meant to be delivering with the work you do. That's not the passing of emails, holding appointments, uh, scheduling, all of those things that we can get lost in when we aren't really clear or confident about what it is we are delivering, what, are we, what it is we're creating in the world with the work that we do. So when you look at your life and your business and you look around and see where your energy is going, how much of it is going to that busyness? How much of it is going to the tasks versus showing up with the work that you have on your heart to give? And many times we use that busyness, especially if we're in, the, in like that, the, the on-ramp or the off-ramp, if you will, of transition. Because if we're too busy, we can't. We can't listen to that little voice inside of us that says, you are meant to do more than this. And if we're too busy, we can't take the steps it's, that are necessary to move in the direction that our life is calling us to move toward, right? We get stuck in the busy and the busy just becomes yet another excuse, another limit to you expanding into the fullness of your own natural God-given talents and purpose. Those pieces of you that maybe you've shared with a few people, but more often than not, what I see when clients come to me is it's that little secret thing they've tucked beside them. They, they feel anxious or frustrated. They know that they're supposed to do something bigger, have, have more of an impact, reach more people, and the next phrase is they look at what they're doing now as the solution to that. But I believe it was Einstein says, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, that's the, that's the definition of insanity. And it's this definition of staying stuck in a loop that by its own nature will keep you stuck in the loop, right? It, it's self-perpetuating. So to step away from that, we have to look at, what is that busyness keeping you from? What is the busyness keeping you from in your business? Is it about getting out and speaking to people? Is it picking up the phone and talking to people that would be your ideal clients or would be your ideal customer? Is it you know, making connections with others who could help to create a synergy for exploring more possibility in the work that you provide? I have the most incredible clients and I am so thrilled um, because honestly, you know, here we are just a few months into the year and I am almost booked out for one-on-one -on -one clients. And one of the reasons that I, I really have a very targeted group of clients that I work with is because it is that synergy. It is the synergy of working with people who know that they have this bigger vision 
And for me to help them to get clear, not only about what that, what that impact really is and kind of hoping them kind of expand that vision even more. It's like, like a bit like blinders, right? Like you take the blinders off the horse and suddenly the whole field is available to them, the field of possibility, if you will. And so one of the things that it, kind of the busyness does is it keeps you in those blinders. It keeps you in the blinders that says, this is the only way. And so you just get stuck on that treadmill. But if you're ready to get off the treadmill and you're ready of really wanting to stand and own whatever that deep desire is in you to express, then this is your opportunity. I just opened some spaces on my calendar and I'm going to put a link below if you want to grab one and talk about what it is that you have to offer really and how you can stop being busy in your business and start making the impact that your heart knows it's ready and wanting to make. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Leah Dunlap, Oracle on Purpose. I know that whatever that vision is, it's yours on purpose. Thanks for tuning in to the Oracle on Purpose show. If you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate you leaving a comment. Also, you can subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. If you'd like to get clear on your highest vision and next steps, go to oracleonpurpose.com. See you next week.